Fishing for River Monsters, episode four. Pretty windy day out here on the Ogeechee. Got my two boys, I got Connor right here. Now let me tell you something about Connor. He was the first ever subscriber I took on the water with me and this was like four, year, four or five years ago. I mean, it was a while ago. Please don't go search the video. I'm sure it's so <laughs> cringy, but yeah, I've known him for a while and he was the first ever subscriber that I brought on the boat so that's pretty neat then I got my boy Delton you know he was actually a subscriber I met him at the beginning of this year you guys already know Delton though he's been in so many videos but today we're gonna be trying to catch our best bag out of our best five so we're gonna be pretty much treating it like a tournament you know putting five fish in the box at the end of the day we're gonna weigh them and we're gonna try to put together a big bag if you guys haven't seen episode one two or three I suggest go watching them episode three is actually out here on the Ogeechee River so if you guys want to get a feel on this go ahead and go check out the last video and we smacked them so you want to go check out check that out hopefully we can catch a bigger bag today well let's go ahead and hop right into it oh by the way if you guys are new to the channel smash that subscribe button hit the notification bell and also hit the like button and if you guys want to go check out the big bass energy merch or any of the other kicking the bass merch you can check it out at the link down below it really helps me really helps support me with all the gas money especially the hundred dollars of gas i put in the boat this morning so i actually have a surprise for you guys you guys probably didn't expect this but i actually paired up with six cents and made our own big bass energy sack right here and so we're going to open it up i'm going to show you guys what's in it if you guys are wondering this is actually a different bag this one's the whole gray so everything in the big bass energy box slash bag slash sack whatever the heck you guys want to call it I handpicked on um, the colors and everything. So let's go ahead and hop into it. I'm gonna show you guys what's in here. So the first lure that we got is the Divine Shaky Head Worm. And this is in Melon Don. That's the, um, it's a pinkish worm and it has like a melonish color on the other side. It's split half and half. This is gonna be great to throw on a shaky head, but you can also throw it on a Texas rig. And then we have the Crush 50X. This is a beautiful square bill on perfect shadow mutation bait, especially the color that it comes in. And this is actually the Ghost Bone Minnow. We got the old swanky and you guys you, you guys know the swanky it catches donkeys and this is the swank 77x and this is actually in i can't even remember the color black magic how could i not remember that black magic right there and that is a beautiful beautiful crankbait we got the straight shank hooks right here pretty basic these are five aught and then lastly you guys know i smacked them on it this year it's the only color i was really throwing on it and it is the snatch 70x right there and this one's in bleeding shad that's the one that i've been throwing um pretty much this whole last couple of months and smack the fish on it and that's probably one of my favorite baits by six cents hands down so if you guys want to check out this bag right here um, i'll leave the link below and you can also use my code that'll save you a bunch of money thank you guys so much for the support to that let's go ahead and hop into this There he is. He ain't big. A little turd. Ugh. Is he 12 inches? Yeah, he about 12. If you guys weren't aware, if you guys skipped through the intro, I know how you guys are. We're trying to put our biggest bag together, and that is a 12-inch bass. So we are putting him in the box as first fish today. Beautiful colors, but not what we want. We're gonna call him out. First fish, boys. You got him? Bigger? Woo! Yeah, that's a pretty good one. He ain't bad. Just a little one pounder. We're gonna get him out of the box too. But he is a, a fat little guy. Spinner bait. That's two on the spinner bait. Connor's throwing the crawl. I've been throwing a crawl, pitching in some of these current breaks while the tide's coming in, and spinnerbait seems to do the job. So we got two in the box right now, but those guys got to go at some point. So guys, we just tried this first spot, tried to hit it early in the morning. I thought it could have been good. Two babies, that's just about it. I thought it was going to be a lot better, to be completely honest. But you know what? That's a part of it. We're going to keep moving, go to a new spot. We might be going up river sometime soon. Um, that's the ideal thing to do today because if we're wanting to put our five biggest bass in the boat, we definitely probably need a kicker that's going to be up river. So we're going to probably idle out of this. We might hit one or two more spots and then start heading up. 
Well, boys, we just made it way up river. As you guys can tell, total different scenic place right here. It, it's polar opposite of where we've been fishing. In episode three, I'm on the Ogeechee, and this is just, this is, this is gonna be fun. We're on high tide right now. Um, I felt comfortable coming up here because on low tide, it's very sketchy for me to get back. I'd have to drive or idle my boat in six inches of water. So I wanted to make sure we got up here early. I wish we would have started here in the morning, to be honest with you. Um, I had some feelings that they were gonna be downriver, tannic water in that um, brackish water, but you know, it didn't really turn out too well. We do, we do have two keepers right now. We're gonna hunt for a giant because if we're trying to, you know, this is our little tournament. If we're trying to put in our biggest five, we're gonna need a kicker. And if we're gonna get a kicker, I'm thinking it's gonna be up here. So we're gonna cover a bunch of water and pray that we hook a giant. There he is. Mudfish, that ain't gonna help. What you got, Noah? I got a nasty guy. Connor, you've never seen this, have you? Whoa, it's out of focus. Huh? There we go. There what you go. got, Noah? Got a nasty mudfish. What them pliers See that, Connor? Look at them. Just a little nasty, muddy. This isn't gonna help us today, guys, but this is our first bite up river. It does feel good to get a bite. I just reached down and lip them. Hey, you crazy. <laughs> Nasty. Hate them dang things, man. Yeah. <laughs> Watch that, Dalton. Too many leaves. There he is. That's a bass. Keeper number three, baby. Broke off something large a minute ago. But keeper number three, he ain't a big one. We're gonna have to call him out too. But, beautiful little fatty right there, spinnerbait. Jeez. Big one. Is it big? No. Not a bad one, dude. That's the biggest yeah. one today. There you go, Connor. You go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Took a while, but we got him. <laughs> That's the biggest one today. Yeah, I mean, I felt him thud like twice and I gave him a second just in case. <laughs> Give me some. Boom. Jeez, dog. That's a fatty. There you go, man. Did he bite you good? That's What's a that? Limit. That's What's a limit, that? man. Did he bite you good? No, no, no. I really felt that one. Boom. Hell yeah, man. So we went back in the spot that you guys saw in the last episode. What we ended up doing this one is we wanted to go up river. Fished up there for a long time. Didn't have any bites at all. Um, we we're about to start heading back. And I was like, you know what? Let's try this spot real quick before we leave. Ended up catching two. And that's all we ended up having up river. So we're like, come on, we need to go down river to catch this tide as it's coming out of this slough. And we barely missed it. We probably missed it about like 30 minutes, I'd say. Those fish weren't even there. So what we did is we rushed out of here real quick. Started coming towards the mouth. And then boom, he had that bite. So now we're going to... What we're going to do if there's one there's definitely more is kind of cover some of this water right here cover some of these current breaks and uh, catch these fish as they're pushing out towards the main river <laughs> oh my god Dude, that, thing's so that is a huge mud fish man Dude, that that's totally what it here was here you go connor just hooked him a monster this is river monsters for you oh god jeez Calm down, bud. got water on my lens hey, I'm in. You think that's what it was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to change hooks after that. Look how big that thing that's is. Freaking monster. That's absolutely what it was because it felt the exact same when it took off. <laughs> okay, good. The hook moves, son. I'll let them have at that. I'm gonna go catch one. <laughs> yeah, where we went up river is kind of that, but it just fish. It, it fishes <clears throat> more like that. I mean, it's still tidal water, so you gotta follow the fish the same way. This is just a whole nother animal. Do you got one? Jesus, that's a mud fish. Dude, when your rod started going like this when you hooked it, I was like, there ain't no way. Hey, get out from underneath there. Golly. Big. Dude, big, whatever he is. He ate off the bottom. It's a bass. I got him. Mm, nice. That's a good one. Jeez, that's a fat one. Look at the freaking dude, that's what we want. 
Dude, with our best five. Look at that belly. Dude, that is how fat this little guy. That's a, I promise you, you guys got to feel these fish. What are you doing? Why are you eating that? <laughs> you guys got to feel these fish, but that, dude, that is a big one. Dude, he ate that in this little soup. We might need to go back further yeah. and find those little cuts. Don't have much water in it. Catch some fatties. That is a good upgrade. Boom. So, that's a good one. Do you know which one our smallest is? Don't you agree? Yep. Probably the smallest. Yep. Twink. All right, that was an upgrade. Come on, boys. Five pound to go up. And it's, the good thing about a river is stuff replenishes, but it's still annoying. There he is. Nice. No, yeah, he's got it. He ain't gonna do nothing. Her. It might be bigger than that smallest one in there. Yeah, the one on the left side. You think? Yeah, see if he's bigger. He ain't much, but I, I wanna make this realistic like we're fishing a tournament. So boys, I don't think he's gonna do much, but I ain't gonna use a colon beam on. The lucky hat gone. For you guys that are watching, Delton's lucky hat from back in January, February, something like that. Uh, yeah, January. He did the the worst mistake. The number one rule of riding in a boat. And you got one? Oh snap! Wait, I actually think that'll take. Yeah, that's gonna help. <laughs> yeah. Well, we made a little adjustment, and obviously they're here. <laughs> okay. I'll come back and look at that fish. That's definitely gonna get that one out of the box. Let me turn off the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's definitely a little yeah. bigger. Drop him in there. Well, that's a small coal. We still hunt for those big ones. We just missed so many today, guys. Like, like we've had the opportunities. Like a second ago, I missed a really good one. Four, I missed a couple good ones. Just, we can't, it's hard to get them pinned. It's like they're not eating it as good as they were in episode three. They're kind of just picking it up. But now we're on this low tide. We were fishing main river stuff for a while. We had some good key bites, just couldn't land them. Now what we're gonna do is just fish the mouth of this canal to this slough where we started off and see if we can uh, pick something up. I mean, they caught two right off the bat right there, I'm so. Out here in the center, though. He's in the center? Yeah, he was like right directly. Ate out of the, the boat, yeah. really? Jeez, boy. Connor went right behind us and swiped him up. Let me see, buddy. He found him. How is that gonna help? He ain't gonna help. <laughs> He's short and fat, though. We found the nursery. <laughs> we found the small ones, but Connor's back here whacking them. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, Ooh, that's a fish, dog. That's a good one. Oh, oh. Big. Nah, you that big. I got him. That's going to help. That's going to get that small one out. 100%. Yeah, yeah that's that definitely. Yeah, that's a 100%. So, boys, we uh, have been catching them, or they have been catching them. <laughs> Um, when we came back in the slough, you know, low tide, they're hanging out at the mouth of it. Delton's caught a few that were kind of on the drop off more of, um, but I, I kind of want to try something. So as I said at the beginning of the video, this is the Big Bass Energy Box by Six Cents. I got together with them, picked out some of my favorite baits, and they put it in a box. If you guys want to check it out, you can go check it out. Use my discount code, and it gets you a lot of money off. Um, but go give it a try, and if you guys do get this, I want to see some pictures, guys. I want to see you guys catching fish on it and tagging me. But there's something in particular in this box that I'm gonna try. So this is the Divine Shaky Worm. And this one is actually in Melon Dawn, and this is one of my favorite colors of all time. We're gonna try it out, out here today. This I would normally put on a shaky head, I will say, but you know what? We're gonna try it different today. We're gonna put it on a Texas rig and see if we can catch some on it, but that is just a beautiful, whoa, oh. show them down. Uh oh. As you guys can tell, it's got some pink and a little bit of like melonish color on the other side. So we're gonna put this on, the Texas rig and see if we can catch one. That's is that? One. Jesus, dude. That's a fish? There ain't no way. I dude, I felt there ain't no something way. on the end. He might still be on. He yeah, is. he is on there. Is he big? Oh, he's running at me. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Woo! <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> dude, I thought you had a mega for a minute I did there. too. He got me caught up in a tree. Oh gosh. Well, that a cold one out. You're good, bro. I get it. Yes, sir. Boom. That a cold one out. So we're trying to find some big fish, but the problem is we're running out of time. Not only are we running out of time, the tide is very low. I'm going to show you guys something. Look. We're in one foot of water in the middle of the river. 
That's how sketchy these places are. What it's you guys say? Pretty sketch. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure I just felt a couple. I'm feeling raindrops. You're feeling raindrops? I'm feeling raindrops. Oh, I'm feeling raindrops too. Yeah. This oh. isn't good, man. What happens, guys? We're gonna drop a pin of our GPS <laughs> coordinates down below. <laughs> Come get us. Is it really <laughs> raining? I feel it too. I oh, felt it. Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better though. Jeez. Biggin. Oh yes, snap. Oh snap. Oh, you're in my line. Come under me, under me. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Solid two. Yes. Look at that, bro. Good job, Delton. Yeah. We finally, we just barely any water to fish. Right, we uh, just came up this little slough right here where it goes in the pocket and uh, caught one. Look at that. There was another. Dude, right. that fish has got, that fish has got a lot, a lot of like brown and red in them. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he's like brown top. and red. You know how many casts we had to throw there? <laughs> like I probably threw five myself. Yeah, you probably threw five, and, and I probably were... just threw two or three. All right, guys, we're gonna weigh our best five fish here and see what we got. Right. Here's our first fish that we're gonna be weighing. This is one of the better ones. Just fat, chunky guy. Right on two or two pounds, one ounce. Scale zeroed out. Two ounces or two pounds. Exactly two pounds. One pound, eight ounces. One pound, pound and a half. Eight ounces. Pound and a half. Pound and a half. All right, guys, got our last fish right here. We're gonna get a weight on it and get you a total how much we caught today. One pound, six ounce. So boys, ended up with the eight and a half pounds with our best five. Not the best day that I was expecting. You know, the last episode was a lot better, so if you haven't watched it, I suggest you go check it out. But if you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys at episode five.